Hi guys, welcome back to another episode and today we're talking about affiliate marketing that is how to make money with affiliate marketing without a website. So this is the most important part here without a website. How to make money with affiliate marketing without a website. So some people might not be willing to do the work which comes with building a website or maintaining a website such as writing the content daily regularly so they would prefer to do affiliate marketing without a website and i want to show you two platforms that can allow you to do affiliate marketing today without a website and i want to believe that you know what is affiliate marketing and if you do not go to my channel okay if you don't know what is affiliate marketing go to my channel and come to the search bar here so this is the channel hilda Wende. come to the search bar here and search affiliate affiliate marketing okay when you search affiliate marketing, you will find more than this video of how I make money with affiliate marketing, this affiliate marketing for beginners, this affiliate marketing. So you will find several tutorials here, which will get you started or will give you the information you need to get started as an affiliate marketer. And if you're new here, Yes, my name is Hilda Monde, and uh, I want to remind you to subscribe, turn on that notification so that you don't miss any update we put up. So let's get started here. How to make money with affiliate marketing without a website. So in affiliate marketing, you need three main things. One is a product, a landing page, and the traffic. So the landing page here is the website, okay? A website in this case is the landing page. But now we are asking, what if you don't have a website as your landing page? What else can you use as a landing page in affiliate marketing? So I have two options for you today. And uh, definitely step one, we're going to start with step one. And this is it. Step one is um, get the affiliate product. I said in affiliate marketing, you need three things. A product, that is the affiliate offer you're promoting. A landing page, that is where you're taking people. And then the traffic. People who you're driving to that landing page so that they can get to click on your affiliate offer. They buy, you earn the commission. So we have to start by finding an affiliate product. That is, what are we promoting? What is it we are selling to people so that when they buy, we earn a commission? So get the affiliate product is step number one. As always, I'll get my affiliate product from Max Bounty. So Max Bounty is a CPA network, but they also have affiliate offers. And that's where we'll get our affiliate product today. But if you are totally new or a beginner to Max Bounty, I encourage you, go to my YouTube video once again and search for this video, CPA Marketing, how I make at least 500 with Max Bounty. So what this video does is it will give you a step-by-step -step tutorial of how to get signed up at Max Bounty, how to choose the product to promote, how to get your offers, how to get approved for offers. So if you are a total beginner at Max Bounty, this tutorial will get you started because I don't want to make this video so long uh, by giving details even not related to what we are doing today. I encourage you to go look at these guides instead okay again if you don't want to use max bounty because at the end of the day the sign up process of max bounty is a uh, a little longer 
and more um, you don't get approved easily that is you have to do a skype call verification you have to fill a very long sign up form i mean the sign up at max bounty is not that you don't get approved instantly that's what i'm trying to say so if you want a platform where you get approved instantly i have done videos on two options one option is this cpa grip cpa grip so you can look at this video cpa content locking how to make 250 daily with cpa grip so even if you are saying that we want to do this with affiliate marketing i mean even a cpa offer can work with this because the strategy is the same so you can use cpa grip as an alternative and the advantage of this is that you get approved instantly you don't have to wait for uh, several days for them to review your application you don't have to do any phone or skype verification you just get approved instantly here so if you want to learn how to use cpa grip then look at this video how to make at least 250 daily with cpa grip alternatively um, there is warrior plus so i just started using warrior plus instantly and i did this video to show you my success so far so this is the video affiliate marketing for beginners in kenya yes i know i'm saying in kenya but warrior plus can be used by anybody from any part of the world the reason why i put this in kenya is because i wanted to give my own case study of using warrior plus as a kenyan but the tips doesn't matter whether you're a kenyan whether you are in uganda whether you are in the uh, united states the tips will apply to anybody because you can use warrior plus from any part of the world so this is another alternative warrior plus so if you want tips on how to get started on warrior plus how to make money on warrior plus how to choose the right product on warrior plus then i encourage you to go to this video affiliate marketing for beginners in kenya go search it and you will get tips so those are just alternatives to max bounty that is cpa grip and warrior plus and uh, once now you get the product for instance i have followed the steps i need to get the product in max bounty and this is the product i want to promote that is i keto diet meal plan so this is a i keto meal plan so i want to promote this is a product i want to promote now and what i'm just going to do here is i'm going to click here on build tracking link then i'm going to say display raw link so i'm just going to copy this link this is my affiliate link so you are going to find the affiliate product and then get the affiliate link to that product what happens with this affiliate link is that it will be tracked so by something known as a cookie when someone buys through this affiliate link for within a period of 30 days you earn the commission so now what we're going to do is copy this link so you're going to copy this link and paste it here below step number one we have our affiliate product that is our affiliate link which we're going to promote so we're done with step number one we go to step number two which is create a landing page at link zero so i want to remind you that in affiliate marketing we need three things a product a landing page a website so we're talking of how to create how to make money with affiliate marketing without a website so if a website is not your landing page then what other alternatives of landing pages can you use apart from a website so the alternative number one we're going to talk about is link hero so i want you to go to google and search link hero link hero this is it let me zoom in for you to see here this link hero just link and then i r o 
link hero we're going to open it and it will bring you to this website and definitely you're going to sign up first you come when you come to this website you're going to click here on sign up today you give your name your email address your password agree to the terms register and then they'll send you an email that is the email you put here they'll send you an email where you're going to log in then verify your application so i believe we all know how to sign up because i don't want to waste your time doing that and so once you sign up and your account is approved it will just be approved immediately once you confirm your sign up in your email once that happens you're going to log in into your account so for now i'm going to log in i had already registered an account so i'm going to log in into my account i'm going to sign in so once you sign in into your link hero dashboard so this is my dashboard for now once you sign in you're going to start by creating um, a call to action so allow me not to explain what link hero does i want us first to create or do what this uh, tool helps us to do then after we do it now i'm going to show you uh, the sample of what the tool does okay so just follow the steps like i'm doing them so you have signed up you have logged into your dashboard once you're in your dashboard let me zoom in this is my dashboard okay this is now my dashboard my link hello dashboard you say dashboard so you're going to come here and say call to actions you're going to come and select call to actions once you said oh you know once you select that you're going to say create call to action you're going to say create call to action and remember this is a product we are promoting we are promoting the iketo diet plan okay so we're going to name this is just the name in your da in your dashboard the, the clients are not seeing this name this is just the name in your dashboard to identify your call to action so we are just going to say keto uh I keto meal plan I keto meal plan world I keto meal plan world worldwide that's what we're going to call it and then we're going to so this tool helps you to create two types of call to actions so you can do the scroll box you see which happens here on the side or you can do you can do pop up which just pops up when people read the content or you can do the banner the banner which is at the bottom okay maybe i can show you this with my website my blog so that you understand better let me show you this with my blog before we create this this is a pop up you see this 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 which has appeared while we we we, we opened this is a pop-up this a pop-up then there is this i close this the pop-up then there is this you see this at the bottom here this is a banner okay and then the scroll box the other option is this the scroll box the scroll box appears here on the side Okay, so those are the three types of call to actions it helps to create the banner, the pop-up, and then the scroll box, which appears here, either on the right or here on the left. Okay, so those are the, the call to actions. For now, we're going to create the scroll box, which appears on the side, on the right side. Then you're going to add the headline here, and this is the headline we are going to take this is the i keto personalized meal plan so we are going to put it here i keto 
personalized meal plan. So this is what your customers will see. I keto personalized meal plan, and then you're going to give it. Uh, you you're going to give it a description. So I'm just going to copy here. Mm, I'm just going to copy this description here. I'm going to copy this description here and paste it here. Yeah, like, like here, create your own, create your own keto diet meal plan based on your based on your preferences this this is what will happen here and then we are going also to change the button text like we're telling them create your own so like get started now okay that's what you're going to tell them get started now and then we are going to the button url the button URL here. You remember the URL we copied in step number one, please? You remember? That is the URL we are going to copy and paste here, okay? And then the image. We want to change this image. We want to change this image here. And we are going to, I think in my desktop, I have something about Keto. So we are going to change that, that image that image and then since keto is a green diet i want to change this button to green so i'm just going to go to google and search green color code green color code and i'm going to use this let's see whether this is a green color code we can even just use here we can put it from here and then say okay you see that is green and then yeah let it be on the bottom right i want it to stay on the bottom right and then yeah appear three seconds okay then text color i would like to change it to black this text color would like to change it to black so once you've customized everything so we have customized everything and this is how our we have customized everything and this is how our uh, our pop-up looks like and remember the most important part was here button url the when people click here let me show you when people click here they click on that button they should be taken to this landing page let me show you here this is a landing page they should be taken to. The Aikito Personalized Diet Plan. Okay. When they click on that button, that's where they should be taken to. We shall test it later. But for now, you're going to say save call to action. Okay. So once you have saved this now, you can close, you can close everything down. Once you've closed that. You can close everything down okay once you have done the 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 call to action now it is time to go to to get to go to google i want you to go to google and search and search i keto diet plan 2021 so what i'm going to do here is i want to look for an article okay i want to look for an article which i can share to people just a good article like this one the ultimate keto diet for beginners the ultimate keto diet for beginners so i'm just going to search a very good article like this one okay so once you get a good article now you're going to copy this article the link to this article copy and then you're going to link arrow and then choose smart links this we're going to link arrow and then choose smart 
links smart links we're going to link hero and then paste it the link we have copied paste it you paste it there you paste it there so after you paste it link hero will put the whole article here for you in your account so what you're going to do here is you're going to add a call to action okay and the call to action we are going to add is the one we have created this we are going to choose that is the call to action we want to add in this article you see it has it has appeared okay on this website so once you choose the call to action here, you're just going to say, we're going to say, you're just going to say, save smart link. You're going to say save smart link. And this is now the link. This, I want now to, to show you how this happens. Remember, if you shared this article directly with this URL, you don't have your call to action here. Okay, but if you share this, let's copy this with our call to action. If you share this one now, this link from link hero, let's show you, let me show you what happens. You see, if you share the link from link hero, there is your call you see this there is this there is this uh there's this call to action which you created using link hero and someone who is reading this article and they click on this you see let me show you where they go to if they click on that if they click on the button on the call to action you see aikito personalized diet plan you see and remember, if they get to buy, how much are you earning? $16. If they buy the one month subscription, you earn $16. They buy three or six months, you earn $25. So at the end of the day, you are using someone else's website. You're using this, the Foodless website, which is very detailed, ranking well on Google. That's what you're sharing around. But you are having your call to action where you're sharing your own link within that website. So you have your landing page at link hero, this, which I've showed you what happens. So you're going now to copy it, copy that, and then you're going to paste it here. We are done with step two. So we have our landing page, which we created using link hero. That is step number two. That's option number one. Remember how to make money with affiliate marketing without a website. So that option number one, you can create call to actions on well-known websites. That is website with good reputation, website with good traffic. You can create a amazing call to actions on this website using this tool link hero so let's say the content you want to share is from a reputable website like healthline you see and uh, all you have to do is monetize it with this call to actions the call to action can be the scrap box the banner or the pop-up so you will be sharing the article from those websites but within the the landing page that is their article, you have your own call to action. I think I've shown you how to do that. So we want to do the next alternative, which is this, create a landing page at a dollar. So link arrow was a method of how to use other people's websites to make money. But what if you don't want to do that? Uh, what other alternative do you have? So the alternative you have is a dollar. A dollar is, uh, let me just show you. A 
so low. Let me zoom in for you to see here. This, the topping of this adolo, A D O L O. And you see, build your own mobile app with no coding skills. So you don't need any coding skills here, but it is helping you to build your own mobile app. You see, almost everyone who is on the internet today is using their mobile phone. Okay, so this platform is very essential if you want to grab the attention of mobile users or if you want to target clientele who use their mobile phone. So how do you do that? Once you visit Adolo, you're going to start by signing up and the sign up process is very easy. So you just fill this sign up form, which is just your email address, your password, your name, agree to the terms, and let's do this. Once you sign up, they'll send you an email where you're supposed to verify your um, your application. Once you verify your application, you can now log in to your dashboard. So in this case, we are going to log in into my dashboard. So we are logged in in my dashboard. We are logged in in my dashboard. And I want to show you, I've already created the mobile app. So uh, I didn't want to waste a lot of your time. So I just created it and I will show you with the slides how to do it. So we are first going to do a preview. We're going to do a preview of the app I've created. We're just going to do a preview here. Wow. So I'm logged in. That's why. But if I wasn't logged in to this app, if I wasn't logged in, it should have given me the sign up. I enter the details. I log in. Then I go to this first screen. And then I go to this. And then I go to this. So if I wasn't logged in really, we would have started with the sign up screen. But since we are signed up, we go to the home screen. And then if you click this button, it will take you to the first loan offer. And you can click, you either be taken to this or you'll be taken to the next loan site. You'll be taken there, then to the next, like that. So how do you build this? This is how you do it. We're going to say create new app and then you're going to say a native mobile app and then you're going to say next and then we are going to do a blank then you're going to say next and then we're going to name it uh wh what are we going to create this for we're going to create this for let's use just the the keto let's use the keto option you are doing before keto meal plan the keto meal plan we are doing for max bounty let's just use this okay so for now your app has the three things here let's see here it has it has sign up it has you see like i was saying sign up someone has to put their own email first then they sign up then so that they are able to log in into the app so you have these screens here. You have the sign up screen, you have the login screen. So now we have the home screen. This is what we want to edit now. The home screen here. We're going to go to screens. The home screen is what we want to. It has the bar, home, and then we're going to add a, an, uh, uh, an image here. We're going to add text first. We're going to add text. And then we're going to say get get 
personalized I keto meal plan. Get a personalized I keto meal plan, and then we're going to increase this to. We're going to do thirty. And then we go to do color is black. And then you go that. Okay. So that is it. Uh, let's increase the font here. Let's do 40. Okay. So that's it. Then still on the home screen. You see, we add we have added a text. So the other component we are going to add is an image. An image. We're going to add an image here. Home screen. Add a component. We're going to add an image here. So we're going to upload a photo. The keto photo here we're going to upload it here okay and then the another component screens home we're going to add uh we're going to add a button we're going to add a button here a button here and then we're going to button text we're going to say here is get Started. Get started. Let me. Get started here. Okay. Going to say get started here. And then when we say get started here, uh, add an action. Add an action. Okay, we can link them to a website here. Website here, which is the link, the link to this offer. Okay, so you're going to say, add an action. What happens when someone clicks on this button? They are taken to an external website, which is this. So we are saying. So screens, we are editing the home screen and we are editing we are editing this button and we want to see the action. What happens when someone clicks on this button? We want to tell them oh, this is the website we need. Take them to this website. So, done. Again, you can add another button. You can add another button. Uh, okay, let's change the text of this. You can say, get the, get the keto meal plan. Okay, we can add another button here. We can add another button here. Home. We add another button here. Button here. And then I want to say, take a quiz. Then we want to say something like, on that, take take a quiz. Okay, so remember this this first button will direct them to the website. But this one now we want to create a new screen. What will it direct them to? So we are going to say here add screen, and the screen we are going to add because it's a quiz. This is a quiz. We're going to say something like a form. Okay, we're going to say something like a form, and then call it. Keto quiz. Keto quiz. And then you're going to say create screen. 
And then, uh, now, this is how we are going to link them here. Click the quiz button here. Action. What happens when they click on that link? Then they are going to go to the Keto quiz. Okay? And then, you just say, done. That. So you customize this, you customize this, you continue adding screens. And the thing is, the action. You have to say the action. What happens when someone clicks that? They go to what? So, branding, you can change these colors here. If you don't want that color, you can use... Uh, you can use that. Also this, if you don't want it, you can use... We can use that. You see, we have changed. So let's do a preview here. Let's do a preview of how this app will look like. So you see, they will come to the sign up and then they go to sign up and then you just put the email as uh, Hilda Monde dot gmail Hilda Monde at gmail dot com and then password one three four one three four no full name you see so they sign up they log in and then if they click on this button get the meal plan right now if they click on the get the meal plan right now you see they are taken to the meal plan okay but if they click take the quiz they are taken to the next screen which is the quiz okay so that's it so what happens here is this one helps you create a mobile version of the same promotion here so after you are done creating your after you're done creating your app you're going to publish it and then get the link to the app so once you get the link to the app now you will be done with step number four number three that is creating a landing page at a dollar now you can proceed to step number four which is drive traffic to that landing page so remember affiliate marketing you have to have three things a product landing page a tra traffic product we have got from max bounty landing page we have created that a dollar and link hero so now drive traffic so the the best place I've been promoting weight loss product is in Facebook groups. So you're just going to go to Facebook, Facebook here, and then you're going to do weight loss. You're going to do weight loss here, and then you're going to search groups, groups. Then you want to look groups where there is high participation, and this is how you see. Like this group, 130 posts daily, 260 posts a day. So you're going to first to join the ones where there is high number of postings. So I think the 260 is the highest. The 260 is the highest. So you're going to join here. And definitely make sure you read the guidelines first. And then for now, I'm going to sort based on my groups. And uh, I'm, I'm a member of so many groups because I promote weight loss products anyway, especially the one I've been showing you. So you're going to just open up the ones you are approved to. And what you're going to do now is, you remember this link? You remember the link, the two links? You can either share the link from Link Hero or the link to your app. So... For instance, if it's the link to the website, the website was on uh, this uh, this guide for keto diet for beginners. So you're just going to post something like, hello, I found this amazing article on keto diet for 
in years. I found this amazing article on the ultimate, on the ultimate guide, on the ultimate keep the diet guide. You see, then you just paste the, the link just like that. You see, so once you are, you see your pop up is still showing. So, a new person who visits your link will get this. And you know, the good thing is that the article is about keto, your uh, call to action is about keto, so you're not spamming here because the two are. Uh, related if you'd be wrong if the article was about keto your call to action is about uh make money online that's when it would be spammy but because the two are related no one will really find this suspicious so they will come to this article your call to action will be there they can click it and once they click it go by you earn your commission alternatively if you don't want to promote the link hero call to action you can promote the meal or the app okay and maybe you can tell them like hello have this amazing app guys there is this amazing app which can help you create your own keto meal plan uh, get started okay so it's just your creativity here of what you're sharing and at the end of the day it's about consistency you have to share this uh, daily over and over again and uh, once you do that you'll be able to be driving traffic to your landing pages so that's it guys we've come to the end and we are talking about how to make money with affiliate marketing without a website i showed you two platforms you can use that was link hero and a dollar and then I showed you traffic where you get traffic from Facebook. And that's it, guys. And uh, this is Hilda Mwende. And this channel, uh, the goal is just to share tips on how to make money online. That is uh, through several methods. That could be through using legit apps, uh, affiliate marketing or just cpa marketing i mean any strategy of making money online and that is strategies i have used or strategies people i know and trust have used and worked and if that's the kind of content you'd love to get regularly then i encourage you to subscribe turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when we put up a video I put up a video every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, those three days. So you get notified when we publish. And then, and the most important, what I always request and encourage you to do is visit. I always encourage you to. Once you watch the video, kindly engage with it. May you like it share it and then leave a comment comment hashtag money uh comment and tell me how uh, how have you used this platform to make money uh, is it legit did you like it i mean anything just engage so kindly do that and that's it for today i hope that you're well equipped with the tips you need to make money with affiliate marketing without a website and until next time bye bye